I just can't get over the water, the color of the water. So I finally took off from Los Angeles Airport on my long-awaited retirement trip. For some reason, when I used my airline's frequent flyer miles to go to Phuket, I had to fly to Europe first and then to Thailand instead of the usual way from California, which is across to Asia and then to Thailand. Uh, unbeknownst to me, when I took off, there was a huge windstorm uh, throughout northern Europe, windstorm U Eunice. Although the pilot uh, warned us that it might be bumpy going in um, to Frankfurt, it really wasn't because we were on a 747. But taking off from Frankfurt eastbound to Thailand on a smaller plane, uh, not small, but smaller than a 747, was extremely bumpy. It's probably the bumpiest uh, takeoff I've ever had. But we arrived without incident in Phuket, and then I went to my hotel, Hotel Clover Patong. I was surprised to see these uh, tsunami warning posts everywhere. Uh, then I remembered that this is one of the uh, main places that had the tsunami in 2004 that killed so many people along the western coast of Thailand and the islands. Well, um, I had conveniently forgotten that uh, Patong Beach was one of the hardest hit. Uh, the movie The Impossible with Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor, what this is, they were staying here, right here. There was a 6.2 earthquake in Indonesia, um, one of the last days that I was in Patong Beach. But um, I looked everywhere and there were no tsunami warnings. This is Bangla Road, which is the uh, epicenter of the party scene. During the day, it's pretty mild-mannered, but at night, it's uh, crazy, and you can get into all kinds of trouble there. Not my scene. This will give you some indication of what uh, Bangla Road is about. But luckily, I had connected with my favorite YouTubers, Chev and Dev. I will put their um, the, a link to their page in the description. And we had such a great time. They're just really lovely people from South Africa. And I hope you check their channel out. A lot of you probably found me because I was in their video of um, the tour that we took together to the PP Islands. And um, this was the night that after dinner they I invited me if I wanted to go along on that tour, and boy did I, because it was the only tour that I wanted to take while I was in Phuket. I just can't get over the water, the color of the water. In some Asian cultures, they um, eat something called bird's nest soup. It's supposed to be a delicacy. They use it for medicinal purposes. It's supposed to increase a man's libido. The nest is made out of bird saliva <laughs> that's been dried and hardened. A pound of the, this bird nest can fetch over 4,500 US dollars. And here is um, a cave, 
I'm sure there are many around, but this one we went by. And this is, the you can see the poles, and the uh, people go there and climb those poles and get these bird nests. After a few stops, they took us to this place to go snorkeling. Well, the pro only problem is that I get seasick. It was fun to get into the water, and um, as soon as I put my face in, it was just like hundreds of fish just swirling around my face. Really brightly colored fish. It was just crazy. I mean, it was fun to do. I'm really glad I did it. I'm glad I did it, but I didn't feel great the rest of the trip. Our last stop of the tour was at this island called Kai Island. Kai means egg in Thai. And it was really in the middle of nowhere. It just um, surprised us when the boat started slowing down because it didn't look like we were near anything. Well, the reason is because look how small this is. Um, and it was just a lovely island. The same really soft sand, warm, clear water. Um, it was really, really nice. While we were on the island, I got to watch Devin use his drone to take some really great shots. When he held it like this, it looks like it's walking to me. It reminded me of the Warner Brothers singing frog. Hello, my honey. Hello, my sweetie. I don't know. Um, this guy. Uh, I don't know if you guys see the resemblance, but anyway, this is exactly who I was thinking of when I saw the drone and that was right up there with the best one of the best travel days I've ever had uh, it was just uh, everything was just so beautiful besides be even including being sick it ended up being just one of the best travel days I've ever had um, a being with such nice fun people and B I, I look at this I mean it's just paradise uh, it's wonderful I I really recommend you go to the PP Islands if you ever get the chance. Thanks for watching everyone. Ciao!